Hello, my fire signs. Okay, I'm back with your daily reading. This reading is for August 13th, 2019. This is your first time joining with us. Hello. Okay, you guys, you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Hello to our cross watchers. You guys, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And right next to it is a little bell. Hit that little bell. And every time I release a reading, you will be notified. Okay, so be mindful that uh, the messages will flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it will relate to your partner. And also realize that uh, if you're watching this this past August 13th, Spirit has let you hear. So this reading will apply to you. All right, so let's get right into it. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for our fire signs? Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, for August 13th, 2019. What messages? Okay, there it is. Right out the box. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth? For our fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, with the date of August 13th, 2019. What messages need to go for for our fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, for August 13th? Okay. Got a flyer there. Okay. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go for? For our fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, for August 13th, 2019. What messages need to go for? For our fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, for August. Okay. Wow. Those actually did a, a spiral turn like a gymnast. Okay. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go for? For our fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, for August 13th, 2019. Another flyer. Wow. All right, in love. In love, let's see what's going on in love. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go for? For our fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, for August 13th, 2019. And 19. What messages need to go for? For our fire signs in love for August 13th, 2019. Okay. All right, you guys. Innocence. Okay, so whatever situation is going on, there is an innocence to it. Okay, let's turn the light this way a little bit. And we need more light, don't we? Yes. So let me take, hold on, you guys. Let me um, get this straight for you so we can get some light going. There you go. Okay, that's going to make it a lot better. All right. There you go. Oh, yes, yeah, a lot better. Okay. So uh, with the situation that we're referring to, there's an innocence to that situation. Or somebody is innocent in a situation and unlikely okay so let's look at these two together we can take this a couple different ways figure out which one resonates with you but it could be that somebody is trying to portray their innocence in a situation but it's unlikely that they really are innocent okay um, and that's the only way oh that's the only way I'm really getting this right now that somebody is uh, wearing a false mask. That they're not really innocent in a situation, but they're trying to portray that they are. Okay, alchemy. You have the Midas touch right now. Every project you begin turns to gold. So this is going to, August 13th is going to be a good day, but be careful about this person right here. Stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. And a helpful person. Someone wants to help you. Think of whom that might be and initiate contact, okay? So I feel like uh, this, I mean, this is definitely good. So whatever situation that you're, you're feeling really positive in right now, that 
You feel like you got everything under control. Could be work, could be finances, what have you. Could be a relationship. That's good. But this situation right here, I think there's somebody you need to be leery of that's be behaving as if they're, they're innocent, but they really are not. They really are not. Autumn. In the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvests of abundance. So you're planting seeds now that uh, is going to come full circle in just a few weeks when we turn to the fall season. Unrequited love. Could be this situation here. Yes, could definitely be this situation here. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Yep. So whoever is in a relationship... Uh, that somebody's trying to appear to be innocent of maybe doing something, acting out, maybe, you know, having an affair, what have you, and they're trying to act like they have not done it, it's unlikely that they're innocent in this situation and it's unrequited love, okay? And whoever you're dealing with, they have children. They could be lying to you saying they have children. They don't have children. They do. Or this relationship is somebody who actually has children with this person, Okay. All right. So that, that's very, very clear, you guys. Um, again, everybody's not going to resonate with this. And you guys don't put a thumb down if you don't resonate. It may not be for you. Do you know how many people watch these videos? <laughs> okay. And these reading, these readings, okay? So it may not be for you. Maybe for just one person that was able to push this message through. Okay. So, uh, this is very, very clear. Now, if you want to do a personal reading on this, information pertaining to this can be found below. Uh, you guys know extenders yet. I'm still trying to get my time in rice, but I definitely want to keep up, try to keep up this week with these uh, with these daily readings, and then we'll go more in-depth with the extended readings a little later, okay? All right, until next time, you guys. Bye-bye.